Hey, Moss. Can you jump out? Come on, Moss. You can only jump out the other side? Really? Watch this. He'll jump out this side. Ready? Come on, Moss. You jump out every day. Come on. Come on, jump out. Come on. Come on. You can jump out. Come on. Okay, look. Oh, what's this? Go get it. Come on. Come on, Moss. Jump out. Moss. Come on. Really? Okay, here, I'm going to give you a boost. Ready? You really not going to jump out? Come on. Come on. Ready? You need a boost. Ready? Go ahead. Oh, wow. There you go. Moss jumped out. Alright, so I just bought this tractor for $1,000. Look at this thing. 1000 bucks. The story behind this tractor is the father bought this tractor brand new. And I would say the early 90s. He wasn't sure of the year on it, but he bought it brand new and he passed away five years ago. And the son had the tractor. And I happened to come up to the red light and he was just putting it out to the road. And I thought it said $10,000 on the sign, but I wasn't sure. So I pull over there and I'm like, hey, how much you want for that tractor? He's like, thousand bucks. I said, thousand bucks. I said, what's what's wrong with that? Uh, what's wrong with that tractor? He says, I can't get a rim for it, and I don't feel like dealing with it anymore. And I'm like, all right, how much you want for the brush hog? He said, no, the brush hog can go with it. I don't feel like taking it off. I'm like, I'll take it. This is the reason I got the tractor for a thousand bucks. So I went on Amazon. It was sixty bucks for a tube, and then I threw a new valve stem in it, but I realized that there's actually a tube in it and the valve stem got ripped off and uh, there was calcium in it so I got to get this rim off and vacuum any calcium or water whatever's in there I can't imagine there's much because everything was leaking out of here see a little bit of rust come here buddy not by the road come on Moss he does listen good this dog good boy buddy don't want you by the road I don't want you hit by a car okay all right, so even though it's jacked up already, if I try to take this off, it's going to hit this fender. So let's get it off these boards and get it off the trailer.
I'm thinking this is where we're going to take this tire off. Probably put this brush on down. I remember. That take a little pressure. <laughs> yep, we're gonna take tire off there. That's not gonna make it down the ramp. Wow. Oh, I might have to get the big gun out. We not. We not. One out of six. Let's see if this will do it. Maybe go the right way. Oh yeah, baby. I didn't think I was gonna need this big gun. side is not off the bead. Alright, let's go to the tire machine. We gotta pop this thing off. Here. 
can make any sense out of this. This probably goes in here this way. I don't think it matters. Yeah, probably like, maybe, I don't know. I did that. I feel like it's got to go this way. What's that? Did I do that wrong? Is this direction? No directions. Okay. Alright. So whatever it is. I think this goes the other way. I think. I, I don't know. I guess uh, that slides around the rim. That would be bad. These are for big truck tires, by the way. But tighten up and then let's try to get this tire off with these I, I never used them before I have no idea what I'm doing flip this handle around because I feel like this tool should work for this and it's not just flipped around quick no this does not work for taking tires off now push my way a little bit. Let's go. I'm gonna see if we can work this thing around. See, I have nothing. There's no, not enough to grab. Try, try to get it in here. Let me try that. We'll use it, watch your face. Oh, it's coming. It will. All right, you hold it there. Yeah. Slide that actually over a little bit that way. All right, push it over. Tight to the rim. You gotta stay close. Yeah, don't do a little at a time. Yeah, I know, but you can't. I know. I can't get it in. Can you hammer it in? Yeah, oh, don't hit me in the face. No, I'm not. Good. Watch your hand. Ooh. Should have gloves on. Yeah, whatever. It's coming. Alright, let me do it. Coming right off. Look at that. There you go. Thing's off. Yep. Man, this thing weighs like 100 pounds. Oh, yeah. 100. That's more than that. It's off. Yeah, it's off. Alright, get the right. There's a tube in there. You know, I think they put the calcium in the tube. That tube's full of water, not the tire. No, it ain't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get this. I don't know, I think that's too. Want to cut it? Um, I can cut it or I mean, there's no valve stem in it because that broke off. Oh, yeah, that's right. But the rim. Let's try to get it. 
I'm telling you, I think there's something in the tube. The tube feels. Just don't feel bad. No, nah, it's not terrible. See, well, I, if you cut this, you should be able to pull it right out. Let's uh, flop this. Watch your fingers. What do you see? I don't know, maybe I can put this way and kind of wrestle this thing. See, that tube's full. Is it? I think so. Now I gotta go out and cut it. I don't know. I... You can pull a little bit. Is it full or no? No, well, it's not coming out. I think it is. Is it? Yeah. Oh boy. That tube is heavy. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we need that little hole. hole. Well, we got. I gotta get the tire. It's in, the, it's in the tube, the water. Yeah. Jesus, that's heavy. Oh my gosh. Want me to cut it? Yeah, get the water out of it. I'll just have to vacuum it out of there. Whew. It pop a hole in there. Well, I don't think you're gonna have to vacuum it. I think it's gonna. Well, I, I don't want. I think it. it's gonna run out of, out of the bottom of the thing. Well, that's fine, but that's calcium. It's all calcium. Probably don't get on your hands or put your hand in it. Whatever you want to do. Coming out the other end. No, that's calcium. Running out by your feet. So what's that gonna hurt? Going up, it's gone on your drill. I'll grab that. Wow, it's still got a lot of it. Should come out now. Wow, it's got a lot of it. Or stuck on something. Now let, let it flat. Let it flat and all that water's gonna run out. Most of it, but Most of it. I gotta get it all out. There's an old tube, they had it full of calcium, so that's what made it a nightmare. You had to drain it there. I gotta get that valve stem out and get the tube in. Okay. Let's do this without ripping it. It's the fun part. The valve stem's there. Um. They didn't give me the nut for it. They didn't give me the nut. You should take it off. I didn't take it off. You should have took it off. I did take it off. But that's gonna rip the tube. This is a back spacer. So they never gave me the actual nut for the front. Does this one fit? Maybe. This one has to stay on there. 
this goes against the rim like that maybe you don't need one on the outside but it's going to hold it in yeah let me see if that one fits all right there's a washer on that too so the washer and that's a negative don't fit why wouldn't they give you that i don't know it wasn't in the package was it no Don't buy a tube off Amazon because they don't give you what you need. That's stupid. Yeah, because without that knot on the bottom, it pulls the rubber through the metal. So, here. Here, maybe this, does this come off? What's that? That rubber thing? Yeah. That can go on the outside to hold that in there. Yeah, let me try it. Screwed on there, but well, it's supposed to be. Yeah, I know because I'm worried but about you still need a screw to screw that on. If it moves, it's gonna wreck the tube. I mean, it held it, for, but it's still, I mean, that's I don't understand why they didn't give it. Me, doesn't have an outside screw, yeah. I mean, there's all threads there, it's but kind of stupid. No, there's no threads on that, yeah. There is under the rubber. Oh, there is, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, like that much. And it wasn't that size. Nope, it didn't fit. Uh, where's that box? Uh, I just put it over there. I'm missing something in here. I'm sure that it wasn't in here, and I'm just. I didn't see anything, though. Let's say tape. No, it's not in here. Uh, no, not. Let's get my shroud. Catch that. So far, so good. And the valve didn't pop out already. This is... Look at that. How annoying is that? The rubber, the rubber I had off my other valve stem, I put in there, and then put the knot on the outside. I don't know. Whatever. Let me 
guess it, hopefully it works. I just, I've done tubes once, <laughs> a few times before, and they usually have like two nuts so you don't hit the rubber on the inside and rip it. So I, I hope it will be all right. All right, let's try to blow this thing up now. You know what, I'm just gonna put this on the tractor, set the tractor down, and then adjust the air. Cause I don't wanna blow this thing up. It's already, it seems pretty hard, so. set it down well, I mean that's sitting down it's blown up but I don't like see how it's like bellied here so I'm gonna let a little bit of air out of it or maybe I'll pick the brush hog up and see if it squishes it down any let's do that load this back up and I'm gonna go try it at my house.
I've got the gas pedal on the floor.
All right, let's try this bucket out now. I got this load of stone. I'm not going to move all of it, but let's see how the bucket works. I call that being at the right place at the right time that's a good tractor right there just did that tube you know some people don't want to work on stuff it did not run hot stayed at half and uh came with a half tank of diesel fuel which is worth gold now so yeah and i never had a tractor that was actually tight like this so it's kind of funny i always spent seven grand or something on a tractor and the thing was driving down the road with the wheel shaking and the bucket was always you know i just never really thought tractors were that good but uh having one that's pretty tight is uh definitely nice and having a weight on the back from the brush hog definitely helps picking up stone so and you can see man it graded off pretty you know you gotta get used to it you know used to using the skid steer but i mean still you know for for little uh projects it's definitely good and uh yeah i'll uh i'll definitely do more videos with it I'll do brush hogging videos and stuff like that and uh, some other stuff, put it to the test, I guess. But for now, that's uh, that's buying a $1,000 tractor right there. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.